Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making bacon wrapped potato skewers. And just in case you're wondering, yes, it's legal. I checked. If a bacon wrap spud on a stick doesn't float your boat, first, check your pulse. Second, stay tuned, because I've got some dipping sauce ideas that will kick your bacon taters into high gear. Let's make bacon wrap potato skewers. I've got a clean Idaho russet here. You can either peel your potatoes or not, or maybe a little bit of both. Cut them into wedges like this. You can wrap each wedge in a whole piece of bacon for an insanely bacony treat, or you can just use a half a piece of bacon too. Make sure the end flaps of the bacon are on the underside of the potato wedges so they stay wrapped. You can use toothpicks to hold them together, or you can just live dangerously like me. Place the wedges on a baking sheet. I've lined mine with aluminum foil for easier cleanup. Pop the bacon wrapped wedges in the oven, drain the wedges on paper towels, and allow them to cool. When the wedges have cooled, carefully insert a skewer into each wedge. And now, our bacon wrapped potato skewers are ready for the grill. I'm really just finishing these on the grill, which is nice because you can make them ahead of time. If you wanted to do these completely in the oven, that's fine too. Look at that. How fun is this? Serve your bacon wrapped potato skewers with wing sauce and blue cheese, or maybe some sriracha mayonnaise. To make the sriracha mayonnaise, simply combine mayo with sriracha and give it a good stir. If you use wasabi instead of sriracha, you'd have wasabi mayo. Get the bacon wrapped potato skewers recipe and more dipping sauce ideas at averagebetty.com. Sure, bacon wrapping spuds might not be fair, but it's 100% legal. So what are you waiting for? Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, bacon wrapped potato skewers. <laughs>